ran for president um, on two main reasons. One, because I felt there was so much more to do to do with the environmental and the, environment, uh, and the green stuff that I've been working on. Uh, and the second reason is the housing stuff that I've been working on. I've not done a lot of it at the moment because we're still just, I'm just trying to find my feet on what the university's policies are. And I think by becoming president, it's as a whole all student issues. And this will give me a chance to give me an extra year, help support new staff officers coming in. And I was the only one that could return, so I thought that was quite a great opportunity to kind of work with new people, have a new fresh start, get to know some more students, and just take part and get active. Um, I think it's just really important, like as a special officer, to kind of like, follow through with everything. So that was a big thing for me. Is like by the time I finish in June with the current position, right, there's so much more I can do and so much more I can give, and that's what I really want to do next year is just be able to help as much as possible. Okay. Um, what would you say the two main things are that you want to achieve? Um, <laughs> well, the two main things is I want to make sure that students feel supported. They know what the students' union is and that we need to help. Them. And that all course reps, school reps got, have got good training as a whole across all the different and all the different departments. Um, especially because I come from a science background, so science reps like we're quite good at attending, but we're not very good at following through. Um, and I think with the new like step up from new faculty base staff to the new VPs coming in, I think that will be really important to like close the gap between a course rep, school rep, and a special officer. And obviously with the new unification of the science schools as well, it'll be good to follow that through and make sure that, that fulfills the identity of students in those schools. Okay, so what do you want to do differently from what they are going to do? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I don't know. I, I think for me, obviously, I have a different agenda. So a completely different manifesto to Kobe. Um, our kind of morals and the stuff we do on housing is very similar. Um, but I think what I'll do differently is I'll probably be more front-facing, like to do with like sports society groups and stuff like that, which is where I come from. But I think at a university level, we'll pretty much be the same. We'll be there for students, representing students as a whole and making sure that student voices are heard at every level. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so in terms of the varsity match uh, last week and all yeah. the waste that was left and bottles we believe lying around, mm -hmm. I was talking to Campus Living. Do you think that there should be a way that Campus Living, Peel Park and the Student Union do ways to deter people from littering and there should be fines or um, something to deter people? Because otherwise they're expecting people to clean up after themselves. Well, I would hope everyone would clean up after themselves. But, um, I mean, if you take varsity as an exception, um, that is a lot of, there's a lot of stuff left behind. So, security and estates and stuff, they do clear up. All of the stuff that's left on campus that's, that's cleared up by university security goes to recycling because the university has a policy with Rulia, which is a zero landfill waste company. So they send nothing to landfill. So everything gets recycled one way or another. However, CLV doesn't have that. They just put everything in the same bin and it goes through Biffa, which is an external, they have their own waste like resources. They, like they recycle so they don't. It's back on us last week, they sent an email. Um, I spent this morning having a go at a bin man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Biffa this morning were, the lovely people were taking away all of the bins and um, they just put them all straight into a normal bin lorry, which is a shame because obviously if students are recycling in halls, that's fantastic, which is awesome. But then if the CLV of Campus Living can't provide a sustainable and like a renewable recyclable firm, then that's on them. Like unfortunately the union has no power over CLV and neither does the university. Um, I can influence them as much as possible and that's something I'll be working on. Um, I managed to get the university to convince them, I think with a lot of help from the actual staff, to change to zero landfill. Um, but um, CLV is another whole another year worth of me lobbying. And so they're still not recycling? They're still not recycling. So at a student level, when you go into your bins it will be, but actually the waste and stuff won't be. Um, but it, it's just frustrating and I think they can and they do for some things. So if it's pure glass, they can because they can sell that off and the same with paper, but nothing's pure from campus living because students, some students will be really methodical and some students will not remember to and just put everything in one bin, especially if they've had a, a bit of a wild night, they just put everything in a black bin. Um, and I think that's just a changing culture as well. But I think coming back to your original question, varsity, which caused a lot of mess on campus, um, that was something that I think is a one-off. I think as long as we have let's still happening, and stuff, still happening. Yeah, and I think the fact we have three bins around campus, I think encourages people un uh, subconsciously. For the next big event, how are you going to stop them from doing that? Um, 
That is a good question. I think just making sure that people are aware before the event of the fact of bins. So having security on the door but with three bins. Um, the next big event that we've got um, will be linked up and the entrances all have like recycling bins and stuff like that. Um, but actually out the grass, I think as soon as it hits sunny it starts to get very, very um, active outside on the grass. Um, ironically the grass is all going because of the new environment, um, environmental sciences, science, engineering building. I haven't quite got a name on that one. Um, so it'll actually flip reverse. So we will actually have an entrance and a, an extension of the uh, student union out the other side. And from there we will be getting big um, recycling bins. So I've seen the plan and I'm very happy to say there are three different bins and hopefully four with the food waste bins as well that are coming in because our composter is back up and running. So. So all of the stuff in the student union, actually, the food waste goes in the composter. So you actually have zero waste for your food waste as well. Which makes me feel better when I leave tomorrow.